What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. We're in Florida, baby. We're gonna be catching some big fish, eating some good food, exploring new places, and seeing some cool things. Oh baby over here. Look at these mullet. I fucking missed. Oh I got I got some. Ooh, I feel some. Yep, got about three of them. Got about three of them. Got a few bites on this rod right here. Something's tugging on it. I got a fish on. Peeba, I got a puffer fish. Look at him, he's puffing. He's puffing. Be careful. Look at a puffer fish. This is first ever. Get it, baby, get it, get it. Reel it, reel it. Just reel, just reel. Hey, hey. A grunt, maybe? No, it's a snapper of some sort. Okay, all right. I think he did. <laughs> There's another material on here, babe. Um, we haven't been throwing him. Uh, when we have done it, it's been like smaller bait fish for the other birds, but yeah. Well, I got a small whiting on here. Oh. He's cool looking. He's like small. Look at him. Interesting. You'll have to look at that. It's all good. No. A few moments later. Boy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Kevin, yeah. I don't know if I'm on that line, but look. It's okay. You are. Oh, my goodness. All right guys, before we get back to Abby reeling in this shark, I just wanted to say that this gentleman to the right was becoming more of a nuisance as Abby kept reeling in the shark, and especially when I was trying to take the hook out. He wanted to keep the shark, which I had no problem with, but he wasn't 100% sure on what kind of shark it was, if you can legally keep it, and what the regulations were on it. Our only concerns was unhooking the shark quickly, releasing it safely back into the water. When I released the shark, you could see him get kind of mad, and walk off, but anyways, let's get back at it. I'm 
We're exhausted, not really, we're, but we're really tired. So we're gonna head out back to the Airbnb. Yeah, it was a very, very successful night. Um, this is pretty much the whole reason why we came to Florida, just to try to catch some big fish. Uh, the first half of the week, we weren't quite sure how it would go, just based on <laughs> yeah, we how still, it was going, but. Yeah, we were still trying to get a feel for it. Um, you know, fishing new waters, you gotta learn a few things from the locals and uh, mainly bait was a was the pro was the reason why I uh, just wanted to get and weather a bit. yeah and weather yeah it was like it like rained like eight inches in three hours the other day so hell yeah but we're gonna pack up and see you guys later all right so we're gonna do a little update both of us first time Einstein brothers and what do you think uh, what I got was superb it was really good very top of the line I got the uh, Maple House maple house bur uh, bagel they, they yeah it's got egg on it sausage bacon uh, and it's got this uh was it honey almond schmear yeah it's a honey almond schmear and it was really good if you like uh and i think they do the bagel like a uh, french toast style so if you like uh any of those or like maybe a little bit of a sweeter breakfast yeah that, sweet that meat be, savory yeah that's really good I got a bagel. I like savory breakfast. I mean, his was really good. I took a bite, but I'm not a sweet in the morning type of lady. Uh, yeah, she's salty. <laughs> especially this morning. But I got a bagel that had, um, it normally comes with a chili aioli, two eggs, two slices of cheese, bacon, and it's on a hash brown bagel. Mine was good, but I asked for no chili aioli and add avocado, and it was it was delicious, I think. And Kevin liked his so much that he wants to come back tomorrow. He said yeah, we definitely need to be one back home. I feel like having that is like a it's like a really good, light, healthy breakfast. Oh, and we didn't film it, but yesterday we went swimming at this little small public beach area, <laughs> and uh, we had the sand flea rake, and I was we was you know I was dragging it through, you know. We rocks and shells you know doing some beach combing stuff i don't and it seems random to say but i don't wear my glasses in the ocean and i have really bad vision so anyways yeah so uh, i was i was looking into the sand flea rake looking at shells and stuff and out of the peripheral vision i seen this big black thing coming up to the surface and i my head immediately turned to look to it i said oh shit and I, I pulled the sand flea rake and it, the corner of it jabbed me into the chest. And all I hear is one woman that's also in the same area going, watch out, there's, and then Kevin, I couldn't hear her because Kevin goes, hey babe, there's, a, and then I couldn't hear what he said. And I look over, all I can see is blurred out, gray, huge, and everyone keeps talking about oh shark attacks in florida and other areas my mom's mentioned them be careful i immediately think great there's this big shark so i turn and i start 
crawling, and then eventually oh, I no, hear no, someone no, go. No, 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 no. She didn't. She didn't turn and start crawling. I, it looked like I was crawling because you can't was, run in water, man. She was like reversing in like a hundred miles per hour. Like the legs were going. <laughs> like the legs were going. Her body couldn't keep up, so she ended up falling, and then she kept going. And then I said, "Oh, oh, it was just a manatee." He says, after freaking out himself, knowing that he's like my seeing eye dog while I have no vision. I mean, it's bad. Like, negative four, negative five. Yeah, you know, blind. It's stuff. bad. So, I'm really just basing it off of him freaking out. And I didn't turn to check on him. I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of... Yeah, she, no, she left me in the dust. Until it processed, oh, it's a manatee, after him saying it the third time, because hard to hear in the middle of... It was, it was, it was a lot, but yeah. What, yeah, she didn't even turn back to look at me. She just like full, 100% reverse, whatever, <laughs> you know, screw my boyfriend, you know, the shark <laughs> needs to eat him and not me kind of ordeal. So, I mean. They say you don't have to be fast. You just have to be faster than the slowest person. Yeah. So anyways, uh, but no, I regret not being able to, to tell or have my glasses on because that seems like a once in a lifetime thing and it would have been different. They, he wasn't bothering us, so it was yeah, just it really wasn't cool. bothering us. Uh, There's a lot of uh, like seagrass and vegetation in the area, so that's what he's probably munching on. But uh, yeah, if it if it hadn't caught me by surprise, I probably wouldn't have freaked out as I would have, and she, you know, would still probably love me to this day. So yeah, he's got a few uh, points lost over that. So. Yeah, because I freaked out. So we went to Turtle Beach to try to do some more surf fishing, but with a mixture of rough surf, some sort of seagrass, and not enough weight, this place was a bust. As you can see here, just the amount of seagrass I'm reeling in made it tough to fish this spot. On the other hand, I'd figure I'd show y'all how to read the beach when it comes to surf fishing. As you can see here in the back, you have a sandbar which causes these waves. Then you have a calm pocket between that sandbar and where the beach is. That area is going to hold some fish. So if you are using lighter gear, you can cast in that calm pocket. But if you're using heavy gear or trying to go after some toothy critters, cast past the sandbar. All right, guys, I got this uh, six inch mag popper that I've been dying to throw around. So we're going to give it a shot. We're just going to let it rip. Just gonna let her rip. Oh, they think you're catching something down there. The sabiki rig strikes. Try not to get one of these hooks in my hand. I don't know what it is. It's like another snapper or something. Sort. Oh, yeah, how does that say? I think another snapper. Look at that beautiful skin texture. Like, don't touch me about my consent, sir. Nice little snapper. Need to figure out what kind of snapper that is. Second one that we've caught of those. Mm -hmm. Good job. Caught that on a piece of shrimp, on a sabiki. But it's another catfish. Yep. Yep. Catfish are scoring today. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Florida. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna 
keep it low key first things first we're gonna get some breakfast we're here at sunny size breakfast or the sunny size cafe uh, gonna get some breakfast uh, and then after that we're gonna hit up a few museums breakfast a giant breakfast i got a uh, omelet all right babe it's time for the food review um we might share the picture but uh my croissant was about the size of my head <laughs> yeah it was a pretty big croissant sandwich it was good i will say i felt like it needed maybe a sauce or some avocado would have been awesome but it was very good i had two cappuccinos delicious and they had potato pancakes which were yummy yeah i had the burrito oh, not burrito uh, omelet it's pretty good it has some jalapenos in it so it gave me a nice little spice yeah it was pretty good, but uh, now let's go uh, kick off these museums, so it's be pretty interesting. Ooh. The Venetian Gothic place on Sarasota Bay, palatial home of John and Mabel Ringling, was completed in the mid-20s. So they only had it for 16 years before it was given to the state of Florida. So you can kind of stroll down to the house. Okay. And go do the first floor walkthrough, come through, make sure you see the Rose Garden. Do the two circus museums, or at least one. If you're too hungry, come here, get a bite to eat, finish at this museum. Okay. And then from here to the art museum, it's only about uh, three to four minutes. So Abby's in heaven right now. They have all these exotic plants. I'm pretty sure. It looks like an aloe, but I know that's not what it is, because touching it, there's no succulent texture but it for some reason just looks like an aloe plant yeah but if you just see like her in the background just like with a pair of scissors just snipping plants then then you know what's going on and this is uh john and mabel ringling's mansion they have their house right here on sarasota bay which is really nice Right now we have a tour that just kicked off. If you give us about five minutes, if you want to walk around a little bit. And then sure, I think we're gonna, you. we might go and check out the bay side. Yeah, go right ahead. And I, either direction, ramps that side, stairs over here. Yeah, that's uh, Julius Caesar right there. It's the guy who invented Caesar salad. Caesar salad? Caesar salad. Is that 100% accurate? Probably not. Oh yeah, there's some bait fish down there. You can see them flashing every now and then. Some needlefish right here. Trying to see if we can see anything bigger. Ma'am, can we fish out here? Oh yeah, here's some more. Oh, wow. Y'all can see some more like pilters or whatever you call them. But they're just going off in here through the grass. Oh, I can feel it. It feels good in there. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So the only thing that, so I, I like when we go to a different state, I like to experience a little bit of the history and, mm -hmm. and everything, I like in all the states. But what gets me is like, like every museum or or whatever has like they do different things different seasons so i guess it gives you just another reason to go back there to experience uh, yeah. different different season it's a nice desk they have a gong last time we woke up uh, that's their alarm clock yeah exactly so this the, now we know why it's named that which means House of John. Okay. So Venetian, I believe, is... And a Venetian dialect. I believe Venetian is Greek-Italian type. Okay. So is, is it like this This house is kind of themed? Well, um, the circus... Is that culture? The circus, I believe, is comes from Italian type things. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You can see how the different... Uh, colors on the paints or different paint colors it creates different light it's really cool it may mean that it's like preserved or that is cool Oh, 
Oh, you're so cute. I wonder, I wonder how long it took him to build this, because, like, there's a lot of detail in this house, um, as far as, like, you know, structures, uh, paintings, uh, it's very detailed. So do you like it so far? Yeah, it's really awesome. Like, they got paintings up here, and then they also got, like, paintings down here. They got a bunch of details on the hand railings. Like, I wonder how long it took them to build all this. And then, yeah, each little animal is a bird right there. It's like a chicken. <laughs> yeah. I think this is where they spend most of the time right here. It's a I mean, nice open area. I said, I think uh, earlier they just cleared this section and make it to the Yeah. Ooh, I so I like the green in this room. Those are big margarita glasses. That's what those are. Exactly. When they when they really wanted to get you know turned up for a ballroom, they just filled these big blue margarita glasses up. And, uh, yeah, one of those will set you just right, babe. Okay, I only want one thing. Big kitchen. No, this is a nice sink. Raymond's cook was German. Actually, so was John Raymond's family. Oh, okay. There were eight children, seven brothers. Five of the circus. When you go to the circus museum, you'll see the whole thing. Okay. Their only daughter, Anita, is buried in the back of the garden along with John and Abel. Their wives moved down to the New Jersey area. He's got a little uh, fan. He's got it all along the back of his body. Here we are at the Rose Garden. Got different kind of roses and stuff. I'm a rose. Yeah, you are a rose. Her middle name. Her middle name is Rose. Oh yeah. Look at her in the smoke. Really. Hmm. Oh yeah. We are in the art museum portion of this area. Uh, my GoPro died earlier because it got too hot. Just uh, if y'all wanted to know um, how hot it is down here in Florida. And if you're familiar with GoPros, you know that's not uh, a good thing uh, with both of them, but we're gonna check out some of this art here. What's going on guys? I hope you're enjoying this fine art. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and the channel. We came a long way, and we still have a long way to go. Interesting. But anyways, let's get back into this fine art. As you can see here, some of these art pieces date back to the 1600s and further. Not only that, but you can see the sheer size of these portraits. Here's a shot of Abby getting close to one of these, just to use her as a reference on how big these paintings are. Just imagine how many hours it took to paint something like that. This has to be my favorite one. It's just elk standing in the wide open area. Here you can see Abby is just admiring one of these paintings. Not only do they have paintings, but they have artifacts from different time periods and different places. That's one thing I like about this museum. I'm pretty excited. It says it's based on the Howard Brothers Museum model. Never heard of that, but I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, so that section over there, you could uh, make your own little. Uh, like circus, um, what is it, circus title? Like slogans yeah. or like attracting phrases. Yeah. And they have all these words, so I'll put 
animals executing performers. <laughs> and I put no trained acrobats. Yeah, so we, we did a little, I want apparently somebody liked it so much I had to take a picture of it. Oh, she's a professional. <laughs> All right, now do a backflip. to guess which one of these faces she's going to come out of, so let's see if we can get her back. All right, I think she's going to come out of the... Can you say it? The redhead, please, ma'am. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, we got it wrong. I think that he's going to try the same one, but hmm, my final answer will be this one. All right, I'm ready. I was right. <laughs> it's the cannon truck. Babe, I'm gonna need you to get in. Go ahead and climb in there. What did you think of the Museum. I thought it was really cool. I saw a lot of images of people who looked like me, the red hair, like pasty white skin. I'm a little concerned, but hey, <laughs> I had a good time. Just good. I think we're gonna go get out of here and then we're gonna go get some lunch at Yonder's. That's a, what, what is it? It's Yoder's. Oh, he yeah. keeps wanting to say Yonder's. Well, it is over Yonder, so. So <laughs> tell them about it. Yoder's over yonder. Um, no, it's it's an Amish restaurant. Apparently they have like awesome homemade everything. I've never had Amish food yeah. other than I think maybe some butter. Mm -hmm. But let's try it. Well, that was a good way to kill about, uh, what, five, six hours, something like that. Yeah, I don't even know what time we got here to be yeah, honest. Yeah, so we got here like, I don't know, I'll say 9, 9.30, but now it's like three o'clock. Yeah, 3.10. Yeah, so it's a great way to kill uh, a lot of time. Yeah, it was his first time going to an art museum or that type of thing. So I think hopefully this year we're going to add the Biltmore to the list and look at something a little similar and yeah. have a good time in North Carolina. But now we're going to go over yonders and get some lunch. And get some Yoders. Yeah, exactly that. We got some uh, fries with gravy. Kind of reminds me of poutine. If you ever had that, how's it? Um, it's really good. Nice and crispy fries. Gravy's really good. 
got these nice mom salads. Mom salads? Bomb salads. Yeah, Abby don't like vegetables, so that's why hers looks plain. Yeah, the pulled pork uh, over mac and cheese and some okra. Abby's got some cabbage rolls and I like tomato sauce. It's really good. Yeah, and that's some mac and cheese. So. We're going to enjoy this and we'll see how we get done. Well, we made it back here to the Airbnb. I got a surprise for y'all. I'll check this out. Yep, it's raining again in the lovely state of Florida. Um, Yonders uh, was pretty good. Was it not Yonders? Yoders? Holy <laughs> God, I'm done with your ass. <laughs> Anyway, that uh, Amish restaurant was really good. Um, everything was really good. The side salads, I think, were the best, though. God! <sighs> if you like a good, like, southern side salad, that was good. Yeah, it was really good. Best Thousand Island. I, and I normally don't order that because I really like a good one. It was really good. Yeah, it's really, it was really good. Um, we got uh, two slices of pie. Uh, later on tonight, and then uh, we also got uh, they have a market uh, just a short walk up the road. Uh, we got some stuff from oh, there, yeah. And uh, we got a uh, orange cookie as well, uh, it was really good. It's like a Florida citrus cookie, so that was nice. Uh, but yeah, um, it's gonna be raining till about what six o'clock, babe, uh, something like that, ideally, or it might. I can't tell the radar. It might be between six or seven. Yeah, so it's gonna be raining the rest of the day. We'll just go ahead and say that. Um, so I guess for now we're just gonna get some stuff cleaned up. Uh, you know, I got gear to clean up. Uh, I got the Airbnb to clean up. So I guess now uh, I'll either see see y'all later tonight or uh, maybe first thing in the morning. So until then, see you later. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another beautiful morning to drive seven hours. That's right, we're going back home. Got everything packed up in the truck. I'm about to do this nice seven hour drive. So I hope you enjoy this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see y'all on the next one.